Uh, what, what, you know, you have only been touching the surface, it's very superficial right now. I want to show you a video actually. Um, so what you have gone through is sort of like the first lesson of a package of three or four lessons, right? So I've given this sort of three lessons to a group of um, students as well previously under this program called I'm Talented Program. So it was a program funded by uh, Central CDC um, to help at-risk kids um, learn more about programming. Uh, when we talk about at-risk kids, you know, it means they are kids who might be dropping out of school, you know, they have learning um, challenges, etc. So we actually spent three consecutive Saturdays with them to teach them Ruby on Rails. Alright, and even though the uh, context is a little bit different in the sense that they are, I asked them to build a hobbies website, actually it's the same. Alright, you are just building a shopping list website instead. So I'm going to show you a video, um, I just downloaded it from my handphone, so it's sort of like trimmed. I hope you can see clearly what they have done, but it's a video of this kid um, doing a demo to all the other kids of what he has built in that three weeks, all right? Uh, so, so small. So you can't really hear, but this is sort of the website he has built. Um, and now he's trying to do a demo of what he has learned during the class itself on how he can hack uh, YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so what he's trying to do is he brought up the YouTube website, he's asking um, Sherwin over here to help him open up this thing called the inspector that allows him to view the source of the website and after which he said he really hates Justin Bieber uh, so he don't like this uh, singer at all and he wants to throw the singer um, so what he's trying to do is to change this count over here that is probably like in millions to zero so of course Okay, so you stop here because I, I didn't download it properly. But, so you change it to zero, but of course he, he understands that you know, this only applies to himself. Nobody else can seize it because it's, this source code itself has been downloaded over here. Uh, so these are some of the things that you, know, you might start to learn as well in how um, websites work, how you can actually manipulate them, not telling you to go and hack and deface other people's website, right? Uh, but these are essential skills that you can learn um, so that you understand what's going on um, when you actually see such things happening. But in any case, the, the main thing was actually <laughs> to show you the website that he built at the very beginning. So you see that it looks very nice, it had all the pictures, you are actually able to upload your pictures yourself, you are able to sort of um, you know, delete them, edit them, etc. and give it a very nice polished view uh, after just three weeks. All right. So of course we're not running Rails Girls consecutively for three Saturdays because I have a life as well. <laughs> I think we all have lives, <laughs> so we need to rest as well. Yeah. So we are only doing Rails Girls uh, on every last Saturday of the month. Um, and there might be a twist to it because for I'm Talented, we don't give them homework. But for Rails Girls, we actually do give a little bit of homework for you to try out after the lessons itself. Um, put on that. So how do you keep in touch with us? Um, you can go to this website, it's just ruby.sg okay? um, And this is our group's uh, website um, There are a few links over here, you can see uh, we have, when you click through this, it actually goes to the meetup.com page um, you can join us as a member, um, it's free, and after that you will receive notifications anytime we have Ruby meetups or Rails meetup, uh, sorry, Rails girls meetup. Um, so they, they go to the same place. Otherwise, you can also join our Facebook group, Google group, or GitHub once you are familiar with that. Um, if you know about Slack, have you all used Slack at work? 
Anyone? Okay, one, so a few, right? So we actually have a sort of Slack group as well. So it's like IRC, right? It's like chat, chat groups. Um, you can actually join the Slack group. Uh, there are a lot of local rubies in the Slack group uh, talking to each other. Um, if you are from overseas or you have overseas friend coming, we have this visiting Singapore guide uh, that can help us improve as well. It tells our overseas friend you know, where to go for lunch, laksa, or whatever. Um, on top of that, actually, okay, let me close my chat groups. We also have a special um, Facebook group that is only open to participants of Rails Girls. Uh, we don't allow anyone to come in because we want to make sure we are controlling whatever is being posted inside. You can just go to facebook.com slash groups. Let me paste it somewhere. Can you start with an email then? Oh, okay. I can also email it to you. But if not, it is this URL over here. Groups slash Rails Girls Singapore. So you can, um, yeah, I don't know, add, uh, join, request to join the group. And when we verify that you have been part of Rails Girls, we will also add you to the group. And you can actually post your questions within the group and someone will come and answer your question. Alright? All got that? Start adding yourself to the group now. Alright. Um, other than that, does anyone have any questions? on what you have learned today. So I'm sort of downplaying it a little bit, right? It seems like hey, nothing much, you know, you spend five minutes just to create something. But actually, if you go find out about other programming languages, you know, if you want to do this, it will actually take you a lot more time, you know, to just build these four simple actions. Create, read, update, delete. It's not that simple. Mm -hmm. All right? So even though we only spend five minutes to do the actual work <laughs> and spend the rest of the time listening to me talk, uh, but actually you have already accomplished a lot within today because I've actually um, already had a chance to play with Ruby itself, know about how Ruby works and sort of have a taster of this framework called Ruby on Rails. Um, I hope this session is useful, it helps to you know, inspire you, teach you something and I hope to see you uh, come back for more. Um, I know in some other sessions we have uh, participants tell me that, uh, one more thing, yeah, yeah, one, uh, have participants tell me that, hey, uh, even though you tell us we can contact you, but we never have a phone number or email or whatever. So I'm going to give you my phone number email right now. So you can jot them down, you can contact me, okay? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's everywhere already. <laughs> yeah, it's not public information. I mean, it's public information. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, jot down my number, my email. Please feel free to call me, to email me. Um, if you have any questions about Ruby, about Ruby on Rails, um, I'll be most willing to help you. All right? Yeah, don't be afraid, don't be shy or anything. Um, no question is a stupid question. All right? Everyone is a newbie before. So just feel free to email me or call me or text me. Okay, uh, our coaches, do you have anything to say? Sorry? Oh, okay. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, sure. Hi, um, I actually run with some coworkers of mine. Um, uh, one like this, a little bit smaller. Every Tuesday, that isn't the last Tuesday of the month because of the meetup. Um, at our office, where you can come learn code. So you're welcome to come talk to me. And I've been so keen to teach you to code. Like, there's so many of us that are really happy to help. And uh, I think Sherwin is one of the one regular coaches as well. This guy. Um, so if you want to come join us, that'd be great. But yeah, Ruby Tea Party, it's on meetup.com. I might try to link it with these guys so it's easy to find. Um, but yeah, awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Yep, so you can see we are all very, really, really passionate about helping you. Um, I hope you don't give up on yourselves. <laughs> 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 Alright, so coding is not easy but it's also not too difficult. Uh, if you have some perseverance and determination, I'm sure you will be able to succeed just like uh, Badehi and Audrey as well. Alright, if not, thank you so much for coming to Rails Girls Singapore. Thank you so much um, and I hope to see you uh, in the next Rails Girls Singapore. Thank you. Thank you all to my coaches. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, that's the end. You can go home.
Uh, oh yeah, no, 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 don't go home. We actually have pizzas. Where's my, where's the pizzas? Uh, outside, is it? Oh, so we actually have pizza sponsored by ThoughtWorks. So please enjoy the pizzas outside and mingle around, talk to coaches, understand more. Um, yeah, and think about our sponsors as you eat the pizza. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>